Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're diving into a powerful stoic principle. Don't force anything in your life. We've all been there, trying to control every outcome, pushing too hard, and stressing over things we can't change. But the Stoics teach us something different. Life flows more peacefully when we learn to let go and embrace what comes naturally. In this episode, we'll break down 10 essential lessons on how to live with more ease, presence, and acceptance. Less force, more flow. We'll cover everything from finding joy in the simplest things, practicing mindfulness, to the incredible power of silence and solitude. These practical stoic insights can help you release stress and live with more clarity, confidence, and inner peace. If you find these lessons helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more life-changing stoic wisdom. Let's get into it. 1. Live fully in the present. Living fully in the present is a concept that resonates deeply with Stoic philosophy. In a world that constantly pushes us to think about the future or dwell on the past, it's easy to forget the importance of the present moment. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, once said, do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. This profound statement reminds us that time is fleeting and the only moment we truly have control over is the one happening right now. Many of us live our lives constantly thinking ahead. What's next on the to-do list? What we want to achieve in the future? Or what went wrong in the past? We often miss out on the richness of the present moment because our minds are elsewhere. But living fully in the present isn't just about mindfulness. It's about embracing life as it happens, appreciating the small moments, and letting go of the constant need to plan, control, or fix everything. Think about the last time you were completely present Maybe it was while enjoying a quiet morning with your coffee or during a peaceful walk in nature. In these moments when your mind is fully focused on the here and now, you experience a sense of calm and contentment that's hard to find when you're worrying about future outcomes or past mistakes. Stoicism teaches that this peace is always available to us if we make the conscious effort to focus on the present. In practical terms, living fully in the present means learning to appreciate the small joys of daily life. Imagine sitting by a window, feeling the warmth of the sun on your face, or hearing the laughter of loved ones. These are moments that might seem insignificant, but are actually where true happiness lies. When we focus on the present, we reduce stress and anxiety, because we are not worrying about things outside of our control. The Stoics believed that much of our suffering comes from wishing things were different than they are, or fearing what might happen in the future. By focusing on the present, we free ourselves from this unnecessary mental burden. Take a simple example from everyday life, eating a meal. How often do you eat while watching TV? scrolling through your phone, or thinking about what you need to do later. Now imagine sitting down to a meal and fully savoring every bite, paying attention to the flavors, the textures, and the act of nourishing your body. This is living in the present. It's about immersing yourself fully in the experience, no matter how mundane it may seem. Over time, this practice helps build a sense of gratitude for the little things, which in turn boosts overall well-being and contentment. Another powerful way to live in the present is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness doesn't have to be complicated. 
It simply means being aware of your thoughts, feelings and surroundings in the current moment without judgment. It's about letting go of distractions and focusing on what is happening right now. Whether you're walking, talking with a friend or working on a project, mindfulness allows you to engage more deeply with what you're doing, which enhances both your experience and your effectiveness. However, it's important to acknowledge that living fully in the present isn't always easy. Life is full of distractions and our minds naturally wander to the past and future. The Stoics recognized this and encouraged regular practice and reflection to cultivate this habit. Epictetus suggested that we ask ourselves regularly, what am I doing right now and how does it contribute to my overall well-being? This simple question can pull us out of the autopilot mode we often find ourselves in and remind us to refocus on the present. A practical way to start incorporating this into your life is by setting aside time each day for a mindfulness practice. This could be as simple as spending a few minutes in the morning or evening in quiet reflection. Sit down, breathe deeply and focus on the present moment. Let go of thoughts about what you need to do later or what happened earlier. By doing this regularly, you'll begin to notice a shift in how you experience your daily life. Less stress, more joy, and a deeper connection to yourself and your surroundings. Living fully in the present also means accepting that the present moment is all we truly have. The past is gone and the future is not guaranteed. This doesn't mean we shouldn't plan for the future or reflect on the past, but that we shouldn't let those thoughts consume us to the point that we miss out on the life unfolding in front of us. When you start living fully in the present, you'll find that time feels richer, relationships become deeper, and your overall sense of peace grows. In conclusion, living fully in the present is one of the most important lessons from Stoicism. It encourages us to let go of unnecessary worries, embrace the moment, and find joy in the simple aspects of life. By practicing mindfulness, appreciating the small things, and focusing on what we can control in the here and now, we can live more meaningful, peaceful lives, as Marcus Aurelius. Wisely said, while you live, while it is in your power, be good. Let's take this to heart and start living with intention, fully present in every moment. 2. Understand the impermanence of life. One of the most profound lessons in Stoic philosophy is the understanding and acceptance of impermanence. Everything in life, from our possessions to our relationships, and even our own existence is temporary. The Stoics believe that embracing this impermanence is key to living a fulfilling and confident life. Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This stark reminder isn't meant to provoke fear, but to encourage us to live with purpose and mindfulness, knowing that nothing is guaranteed. Understanding the impermanence of life can be unsettling at first because we are often conditioned to think that things will remain the same or that we have plenty of time to achieve our goals. But the Stoics teach us that everything is in a state of constant change. Our circumstances, our emotions, the people around us and even our own physical bodies. By accepting this fact, we learn to stop clinging to things that are beyond our control and we can start to appreciate life as it is, in its fleeting moments. In today's world, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of stability, whether it's financial, emotional or relational. We want things to remain constant because it gives us a sense of security. However, the more we try to control and hold on to things, the more anxiety and stress we create for ourselves. 
Stoicism teaches us that instead of resisting change, we should embrace it. This understanding of life's impermanence helps us navigate the ups and downs of life with greater resilience and calm. Let's think about a common scenario where the understanding of impermanence can be particularly helpful. Relationships. Many people struggle with the fear of losing loved ones, whether through breakups, death, or drifting apart. The pain of loss can be overwhelming because we often expect relationships to last forever. But the Stoics remind us that all relationships, like everything else in life, are impermanent. By accepting this truth, we can cherish the time we have with the people we care about and let go of the fear of losing them. Epictetus said, When you kiss your child goodnight, say to yourself, they may be dead in the morning. Do not tempt fate by putting off what you need to do now. While this may sound harsh, it's actually a call to appreciate the present and to value our relationships while they last. This doesn't mean we become detached or indifferent to those we love. On the contrary, by accepting impermanence, we can engage more deeply with the people in our lives, knowing that our time together is limited. This perspective allows us to show more kindness, patience and appreciation because we are no longer taking those relationships for granted. The same principle applies to our careers, our possessions and even our own health. Everything is subject to change and by embracing this reality, we free ourselves from the suffering that comes from trying to hold on to what cannot be held. Consider how much stress and anxiety people experience around aging. Society often glorifies youth and beauty, leading many to fear the natural process of growing older. However, the Stoics embraced aging as part of life's natural cycle. Seneca wrote, We are born to die. It is our duty to be prepared for that and live as if each day is our last. Instead of fearing the passage of time, the Stoics teach us to accept it with grace, recognizing that every stage of life brings its own wisdom and value. By understanding the impermanence of life, we stop resisting the inevitable and learn to live more fully, appreciating each day for what it brings. Another area where the understanding of impermanence can be liberating is in our attachment to material possessions. Many people spend their lives accumulating wealth, buying bigger houses or acquiring more things in the hope that these will bring lasting happiness. But the Stoics recognize that material wealth is fleeting and that true contentment comes from within. Epictetus warned, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. By understanding that material things are impermanent, we can enjoy them for what they are without becoming overly attached. When we stop relying on external things for our happiness, we build a deeper sense of confidence and inner peace. The impermanence of life also encourages us to focus on what truly matters. When you realize that time is limited, you become more intentional about how you spend it. Instead of wasting time on trivial pursuits or getting caught up in drama, you start to prioritize the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. Whether that's spending time with loved ones, pursuing a passion, or contributing to a cause you care about. The Stoics encourage us to live each day as if it could be our last, not in a fatalistic way, but as a reminder to live with purpose and presence. For example, imagine you're stressed out at work, constantly worrying about deadlines and whether you're doing a good enough job. The fear of failure or of disappointing others can be paralyzing. But by applying the stoic understanding of impermanence, you remind yourself that this moment of stress is temporary and that in the grand scheme of things, it's not as significant as it may seem. This perspective helps you detach from the anxiety and refocus on doing your best without being consumed by worry. In conclusion, understanding the impermanence of life 
is a key lesson from Stoicism that helps us live with greater peace and confidence. When we accept that everything is temporary, our relationships, our possessions, even our own lives, we stop clinging to what we cannot control and start appreciating life's fleeting moments. The Stoics teach us that by embracing change and impermanence, we can live more fully, with less fear and more gratitude. As Marcus Aurelius wisely advised, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Let this be a call to live intentionally, fully aware of the preciousness of each moment. 3. The Power of Acceptance Acceptance is one of the core teachings of Stoic philosophy, and it plays a crucial role in building inner peace and confidence. At its heart, acceptance means recognizing that there are things in life we cannot control, and instead of resisting these realities, we should embrace them. Epictetus famously said, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This simple but profound idea can drastically change how we approach life, helping us let go of stress, anxiety and frustration. In life, we often expend enormous amounts of energy trying to change or control things that are completely outside our control, whether it's other people's actions, external events, or even the weather. The Stoics believed that this struggle to control the uncontrollable is a primary source of human suffering. When we resist what is, we create tension and inner turmoil. But when we practice acceptance, we find peace by aligning ourselves with reality as it is, not as we wish it would be. To understand the power of acceptance, let's think about a common scenario. Getting stuck in traffic. Many people feel an overwhelming sense of frustration or anger when this happens. They honk their horns, yell at other drivers, or sit in their cars fuming. But no matter how angry or upset they get, the traffic remains the same, it's completely outside of their control. Now, if we approach the same situation with a stoic mindset, we recognize that traffic is beyond our control and we can choose to accept it. Instead of letting frustration ruin our mood, we can use the time to listen to a podcast, practice deep breathing or simply observe the situation calmly. This shift in mindset transforms what could be a stressful experience into an opportunity for peace. Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote encapsulates the essence of Stoic acceptance. We may not have control over external events, but we always have control over our internal reactions. By accepting what we cannot change, we conserve our mental energy and focus on what we can influence, our thoughts, our actions and our attitudes. This is where true power lies. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or giving up. Many people mistakenly think that accepting something means you're okay with it or that you don't care. But Stoic acceptance is about recognizing reality without letting it defeat you. It's about saying, this is the way things are right now. What can I do within my control to respond to this situation? By doing this, you empower yourself to take meaningful action where it's possible, rather than wasting energy on resistance or frustration. For example, imagine you've worked hard on a project at work but it doesn't receive the recognition you hoped for. Your initial reaction might be disappointment or frustration, especially if you feel your efforts went unnoticed. But through the lens of stoic acceptance, you recognize that the response from others is outside of your control. What is within your control is the quality of your work and the pride you take in your effort. By accepting the situation, you let go of the need for external validation 
and find peace in knowing you did your best. This mindset not only builds resilience, but also fosters confidence because you're no longer reliant on external outcomes for your sense of worth. Seneca also taught about the power of acceptance, particularly when it comes to dealing with difficult people or situations. He advised that we shouldn't expect life to be free from challenges, but rather we should prepare ourselves to handle them with grace and composure. Seneca wrote, A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This wisdom encourages us to accept challenges as part of life's natural course, seeing them as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles to happiness. Let's apply this idea to personal relationships. Often we get frustrated with others because they don't behave the way we want them to. Maybe a friend cancels plans last minute, or a colleague is difficult to work with. Our instinct might be to try to change their behavior or feel resentment toward them. But in line with Stoic teachings, we can practice acceptance by recognizing that we cannot control how others behave, only how we respond. Instead of getting upset, we can choose to accept the situation and respond with patience or understanding. This doesn't mean we condone bad behavior, but it allows us to maintain our inner peace regardless of external circumstances. Another area where acceptance can be transformative is in dealing with failure or setbacks. Life doesn't always go according to plan, and many people struggle with accepting failure because they see it as a reflection of their worth. However, the Stoics teach us to view failure as a natural part of life. Epictetus encouraged his students to view every experience, good or bad, as an opportunity for learning and growth. Instead of resisting failure or letting it define you, Stoicism encourages you to accept it as part of the process, analyze what went wrong and move forward with greater wisdom. This acceptance of failure builds resilience and confidence because you no longer fear making mistakes. You see them as stepping stones to success. Acceptance is also about letting go of the past. Many people carry the weight of past mistakes, regrets or losses, which can hinder their ability to live fully in the present. The Stoics remind us that the past is beyond our control. We cannot change what has already happened. Marcus Aurelius advised, The past is a mere fragment of time, no longer with us. The present is a mere instant, racing by. The future is uncharted, uncertain and unknown. By accepting that the past is unchangeable, we free ourselves from its grip and focus on what we can do in the present to shape our future. In conclusion, the power of acceptance is a central Stoic lesson that leads to greater peace, resilience and confidence. By accepting what we cannot control, whether it's external events, the actions of others or the unpredictability of life, we conserve our energy for the things we can influence. Stoic acceptance is not about passivity, it's about embracing reality as it is and taking thoughtful, purposeful action within our sphere of control. When we practice acceptance, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering and develop the inner strength to navigate life's challenges with grace. 4. Learn to let go. Letting go is one of the most liberating practices we can adopt in life, and it is a key principle in Stoic philosophy. Whether it's letting go of past mistakes, failed relationships, unmet expectations, or things we simply cannot control, learning to let go is essential for maintaining inner peace and emotional resilience. The Stoics believed that much of our suffering comes from clinging to things that are beyond our control, and by learning to release these attachments, we free ourselves from unnecessary pain. Epictetus famously taught, It is not events that disturb people, it is their judgments concerning them. 
This quote highlights the Stoic belief that our suffering is often self-inflicted, not by the events themselves, but by our attachment to how we think things should be. When we cling to unrealistic expectations, desires or outcomes, we set ourselves up for disappointment and frustration. Learning to let go means accepting reality as it is, rather than trying to force it to conform to our wishes. Letting go doesn't mean we stop caring about things or people, nor does it mean we become passive in life. Instead, it's about releasing our emotional attachment to things that are outside of our control. For example, if you're holding on to anger from a past argument, that anger doesn't change the outcome of the argument, it only causes you more distress. By letting go of that anger, you allow yourself to move forward without carrying the emotional burden of the past. Marcus Aurelius wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This reflects the stoic focus on appreciating the present moment and not letting past grievances or future worries weigh you down. Letting go is particularly powerful when it comes to dealing with past mistakes or regrets. Many people find themselves stuck, replaying moments where they think they could have made better choices or done things differently. While reflecting on past actions can be useful for learning and growth, dwelling on them prevents us from moving forward. Seneca taught, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. This means that in order to embrace new opportunities and growth, we must let go of what is no longer serving us. By clinging to the past, we limit our ability to embrace the present and the future. Let's consider a common situation, the end of a relationship. Whether it's a romantic relationship, a friendship, or a professional partnership, the loss of a relationship can be deeply painful. Many people struggle with letting go because they focus on what went wrong, what could have been, or what they might have done differently. This attachment to the past can lead to prolonged suffering and prevent healing. But the Stoics teach us that relationships, like everything else in life, are impermanent. Epictetus advised that we should view everything in life, including our relationships, as temporary gifts. Instead of clinging to what was, we can honor the relationship for what it brought into our lives and let go of the need to hold on to something that has naturally come to an end. This lesson in letting go extends beyond relationships to all aspects of life, including material possessions, status, and even our own identities. Many of us define ourselves by our achievements, jobs, or social status, and we hold onto these identities tightly because they give us a sense of security. However, Stoicism encourages us to recognize that these external markers of identity are fleeting and can change at any moment. By learning to let go of the need to define ourselves by external factors, we cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and confidence. Seneca wrote, He who is brave is free. In other words, the courage to let go of attachments is what ultimately gives us freedom. Letting go also applies to our expectations. Often we set ourselves up for disappointment by expecting things to turn out a certain way, whether it's a job promotion, a vacation, or a personal project. When reality doesn't align with our expectations, we experience frustration, sadness, or even anger. The Stoics remind us that while we can control our efforts, we cannot control the outcomes. Marcus Aurelius advised, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This teaching encourages us to let go of rigid expectations and instead approach life with a sense of openness and acceptance. 
By doing so, we become more adaptable and resilient in the face of unexpected outcomes. Another powerful aspect of letting go is learning to release our attachment to what other people think of us. Many people feel trapped by the opinions of others, constantly seeking validation or approval. This need for external validation can cause anxiety and erode our confidence because we're always worried about how we're perceived. The Stoics taught that what others think of us is completely outside of our control. Epictetus said, If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This advice might sound extreme, but it speaks to the importance of letting go of the need for approval. When you release the need to be liked or admired by everyone, you free yourself from the constant pressure of living up to others' expectations, and this brings a sense of peace and confidence in your own path. Let's apply this to a practical scenario. Imagine you're giving a presentation at work and you're nervous about how your colleagues will react. You could spend the entire time worrying about whether they'll be impressed or whether they'll judge your performance. This mindset can distract you from doing your best and make the experience more stressful. But if you approach the situation with a stoic mindset, you let go of the need for external validation and focus instead on what's within your control, your preparation, your delivery, and your effort. By letting go of the outcome, you reduce anxiety and build confidence in your ability to do your best, regardless of how others respond. In conclusion, learning to let go is a powerful stoic practice that frees us from the emotional burdens of attachment. Whether it's letting go of past mistakes, unmet expectations, or the need for approval, this practice helps us live with greater peace and clarity. The Stoics teach us that much of our suffering comes from clinging to things that are beyond our control, and by releasing these attachments, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and experiences. Letting go isn't about giving up. It's about finding the freedom to live fully in the present without being weighed down by what we cannot change. 5. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness, or the practice of being fully present in the moment, is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace and emotional resilience. In Stoic philosophy, mindfulness is essential because it helps us stay connected to what's happening right now, rather than being distracted by worries about the future or regrets about the past. The Stoics believed that most of our suffering comes from not living in the present moment, from constantly thinking about things we cannot control, whether they've already happened or might happen in the future. Marcus Aurelius expressed the importance of mindfulness when he wrote, Confine yourself to the present. This advice is a reminder that the only moment we truly have is the present one. When we allow our minds to drift into the past or future, we lose touch with what's happening right now, and this disconnection can lead to anxiety, stress, and dissatisfaction. Mindfulness helps us bring our attention back to the present, allowing us to engage more fully with life and respond to challenges with greater clarity and composure. Practicing mindfulness doesn't have to be complicated, it's about learning to focus on the task at hand, whether it's a conversation, a walk, or even something as simple as washing the dishes. By paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings, you can become more attuned to the present moment. This practice helps you notice when your mind is wandering and gently bring it back to what you're doing. Over time, this ability to stay present strengthens your mental resilience and allows you to approach life with greater calm and focus. Let's take a simple example. You're at work, but your mind is racing with thoughts about a difficult conversation you had with a friend the night before. Instead of focusing on the task in front of you, you're replaying the conversation in your head, thinking about what you should have said 
or how you could have handled it differently. This mental distraction not only affects your productivity, but also increases your stress levels. However, if you practice mindfulness, you can notice when your mind starts to drift and bring it back to the present moment. By doing this, you not only improve your focus at work, but also let go of the unnecessary mental burden of worrying about the past. Epictetus believed that mindfulness was crucial for managing our emotions. He taught that it's not external events that upset us, but how we interpret those events. When we're mindful, we become more aware of our thoughts and emotional reactions, and this awareness gives us the power to choose how we respond. Instead of reacting impulsively or letting our emotions take control, mindfulness helps us pause, reflect, and respond in a way that aligns with our values and goals. This level of emotional self-regulation is a key component of Stoic wisdom, and it's a skill that can be developed through mindfulness. Consider a situation where someone cuts you off in traffic. Your initial reaction might be anger or frustration, but if you're practicing mindfulness, you can catch yourself before you react. You recognize the feeling of anger rising and choose not to act on it. Instead of honking your horn or shouting at the other driver, you take a deep breath, let go of the anger, and focus on continuing your drive peacefully. This ability to observe your emotions without being controlled by them is one of the greatest benefits of mindfulness, and it helps you maintain your inner peace in the face of external challenges. Mindfulness is also a powerful tool for reducing stress and anxiety. Many people experience anxiety because their minds are constantly focused on the future, on what might happen, what could go wrong, or what they need to do next. The Stoics understood that worrying about the future is unproductive because it takes us out of the present moment, where we actually have the power to make changes. Seneca wrote, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality, this means that much of the stress and anxiety we feel comes from our minds imagining worst-case scenarios rather than from what is actually happening. By practicing mindfulness, we bring our focus back to the present, which reduces anxiety and helps us deal with challenges more effectively. Another important aspect of mindfulness is being aware of the transitory nature of our thoughts and emotions. The Stoics believed that nothing in life is permanent, not our circumstances, our feelings, or even our thoughts. Marcus Aurelius advised, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This quote reflects the Stoic understanding that our thoughts are not necessarily reflective of reality. They are just temporary mental events that come and go. By practicing mindfulness, we learn to observe our thoughts without getting caught up in them. We realize that just because we think something doesn't make it true, and we gain the ability to let go of negative or unhelpful thoughts. Let's say you're feeling anxious about an upcoming presentation at work. Your mind is filled with thoughts like, I'm going to mess this up, or everyone will judge me if I make a mistake. These thoughts can easily spiral into overwhelming anxiety if left unchecked. But through mindfulness, you can observe these thoughts without getting caught up in them. You might say to yourself, I'm noticing that I'm feeling anxious about the presentation. That's okay. I don't have to believe every thought I have. By practicing this kind of mindful awareness, you create space between yourself and your thoughts, which helps reduce anxiety and allows you to approach the situation with greater calm and confidence. Mindfulness also enhances our ability to experience gratitude and joy. When we're fully present, we're more likely to notice the beauty and goodness around us, the warmth of the sun, the taste of a good meal, the laughter of a friend. 
These moments, though small, are where true happiness resides. The Stoics taught that happiness doesn't come from external success or possessions, but from appreciating the present moment and cultivating an inner sense of peace. Epictetus said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. By practicing mindfulness, we train ourselves to focus on what we have right now, rather than on what we lack or what we want in the future. In conclusion, practicing mindfulness is a key Stoic lesson that helps us live with greater peace, focus, and emotional resilience. By staying present in the moment, we free ourselves from the stress of worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being controlled by them, which strengthens our ability to respond to life's challenges with clarity and wisdom. The Stoics remind us that true happiness comes from living fully in the present, and mindfulness is the practice that helps us do just that. 6. Use Silence effectively. Silence is often undervalued in today's fast-paced, constantly connected world, but in Stoic philosophy it holds great power. The Stoics believed that silence is not merely the absence of noise, but a space for reflection, growth and self-control. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic emperor, wrote, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This advice highlights the importance of listening and observing rather than constantly talking. Using silence effectively allows us to process our thoughts, make better decisions, and respond to life's challenges with calm and wisdom. In modern life, we're often surrounded by noise, whether it's the constant hum of technology the pressures of work, or even our own racing thoughts. Many people feel uncomfortable with silence, filling every moment with distractions like music, social media, or conversations. But Stoicism teaches that silence is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace and emotional strength. It gives us the space to reflect on our thoughts and actions, and it helps us become more intentional in how we engage with the world. Using silence effectively means learning to be comfortable with moments of quiet and stillness. In a society that often rewards quick responses and constant action, silence can feel like inaction or passivity. But the Stoics knew that silence is an active practice. It's a choice to pause, to reflect, and to listen before responding. Epictetus advised, Nature gave us one tongue and two ears so that we could hear twice as much as we speak. This teaching encourages us to spend more time listening to others, to ourselves and to the world around us so that when we do speak, our words carry more meaning and purpose. Consider how often we rush to fill silence in conversations, either because we're uncomfortable with the quiet or because we're eager to make our point. But in doing so, we often miss out on valuable insights. By allowing moments of silence, we give ourselves the opportunity to truly listen to what the other person is saying, rather than just thinking about what we're going to say next. This deeper listening helps build stronger relationships, because it shows that we're genuinely engaged and respectful of the other person's perspective. It also allows us to respond more thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. Seneca, another prominent Stoic, also emphasized the value of silence in personal reflection. He wrote, It is quality rather than quantity that matters. This idea applies not only to our speech, but also to our thoughts. By spending time in silence, we can sift through the noise in our minds and focus on the thoughts that truly matter. Silence gives us the mental space to reflect on our values, our goals, and how we're living our lives. 
It's in these moments of quiet that we can gain clarity about what's important and make decisions that are aligned with our true selves. Let's consider a practical example. You're in a meeting at work and someone says something that frustrates you or challenges your point of view. The instinctive reaction might be to respond immediately, defending your position or expressing your frustration, but by practicing silence, you can pause, take a breath, and give yourself a moment to reflect before responding. This brief moment of silence allows you to approach the situation with greater calm and clarity, rather than letting your emotions dictate your response. As a result, you're more likely to respond thoughtfully and constructively, which helps build your credibility and strengthens your relationships with others. Silence is also a powerful tool for self-restraint. The Stoics believed that part of living a virtuous life is learning to control our impulses, including the impulse to speak when it's not necessary. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? This question can be applied to many aspects of life, including our speech. Before we speak, we should ask ourselves whether our words are necessary, whether they add value, and whether they align with our values. This practice helps us avoid speaking out of anger, frustration, or ego, and it ensures that when we do speak, our words are meaningful and purposeful. In today's world, where social media platforms encourage constant communication and immediate responses, the ability to use silence effectively is more important than ever. Many people feel the pressure to react quickly to everything, whether it's a news story, a social media post, or a conversation. But the Stoics remind us that there is strength in restraint. By choosing to pause and reflect before reacting, we not only protect our own peace of mind, but also avoid unnecessary conflicts and misunderstandings. Let's take the example of online discussions, where conversations can often become heated or emotional. It's easy to get drawn into arguments or feel the need to defend your opinion immediately, but by practicing silence and reflection, you can avoid reacting impulsively and getting caught up in negativity. Instead, you can take the time to think about whether responding is even necessary, and if it is, how you can respond in a way that is constructive rather than combative. This practice helps maintain your emotional equilibrium and allows you to engage with others in a more thoughtful and respectful way. Silence also creates space for self-awareness. In moments of quiet, we have the opportunity to observe our thoughts, emotions and reactions without judgment. This self-awareness is essential for personal growth because it helps us recognize patterns in our behavior, both positive and negative. For example, you might notice in a moment of silence that you tend to react defensively in certain situations, or that you often speak out of a desire to impress others rather than from a place of genuine thoughtfulness. This awareness allows you to make conscious changes in how you interact with the world, leading to greater self-control and confidence. In addition to fostering self-awareness, silence provides an opportunity for gratitude and reflection. When we allow ourselves moments of quiet, we can reflect on the things we're grateful for and gain perspective on the challenges we face. The Stoics believed that gratitude is a key component of a happy and fulfilling life, and silence offers the perfect space to practice it. By taking time each day to sit in silence and reflect on what you're thankful for, you cultivate a sense of contentment and peace, which strengthens your resilience in the face of adversity. In conclusion, using silence effectively is a powerful stoic practice that helps us cultivate self-control, clarity and emotional resilience. In a world that often values constant communication and immediate reactions, silence offers a space for reflection, listening and intentional action. 
by learning to pause before speaking, practicing self-restraint, and embracing moments of quiet, we can strengthen our relationships, make better decisions, and live more mindfully. The Stoics remind us that silence is not emptiness, it's an opportunity for growth, wisdom, and peace. 7. Enjoy the journey, not just the outcome. One of the most powerful lessons in Stoic philosophy is the importance of focusing on the journey rather than becoming overly attached to the outcome. In a world that often emphasizes success, achievement and results, it's easy to get caught up in the idea that happiness comes only when we reach our goals. But the Stoics remind us that true contentment lies in the process, in the day-to-day -day actions, the growth, and the learning that happens along the way. Epictetus once said, Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happen the way it happens, then you will be happy. This Stoic teaching encourages us to let go of the obsessive focus on outcomes and instead appreciate the effort, the discipline, and the experiences that come with the pursuit of our goals. By enjoying the journey, we free ourselves from the constant pressure of success and failure and learn to find joy in the small, everyday victories that make life meaningful. In our daily lives, we often set goals for ourselves, whether they're personal, professional, or even related to hobbies. While having goals is important, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that our happiness or self-worth is tied to whether or not we achieve them. For example, think about someone training for a marathon. If they focus only on crossing the finish line and seeing their time, they might miss out on the satisfaction that comes from the months of training, the strength they build along the way, and the discipline they've developed. The Stoics would encourage this person to take pride in the effort and the process, rather than seeing success only in the final result. Focusing on the journey rather than the outcome also helps us stay present and engaged in what we're doing. When we're too fixated on the future, on what we hope to achieve, we can lose sight of the here and now. Marcus Aurelius advised, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote reminds us that our mindset, especially how we approach the present moment, shapes our experience of life. If we're constantly chasing after some future result, we risk missing the beauty of the process itself. By shifting our focus to the journey, we allow ourselves to experience life more fully, with less stress and more contentment. Let's take a practical example. Imagine you're working on a long-term project at work or school. You've set a big goal for yourself, and you're excited about the possibility of achieving it. But as time goes on, the pressure to succeed builds, and you start to feel overwhelmed. You begin worrying about whether the final product will meet your expectations or whether others will approve of your work. In this mindset, the joy you originally felt when you started the project fades and the process becomes a source of stress. Now, if you apply stoic wisdom and focus on the journey, you remind yourself that the project is about the effort you're putting in, the skills you're developing, and the growth you're experiencing along the way. This shift in perspective reduces the pressure and allows you to enjoy the process again, rather than becoming consumed by the outcome. Another important aspect of enjoying the journey is recognizing that life is unpredictable and outcomes are never guaranteed. No matter how hard we work or how well we plan, we can't control every factor that affects the outcome of our efforts. Seneca wrote, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. This stoic principle reminds us that it's the courage to act, to take on challenges, that matters, not the guarantee of success. When we accept that outcomes are uncertain, 
we free ourselves from the anxiety that comes with the fear of failure. Instead of worrying about whether we'll succeed, we focus on doing our best, knowing that the process itself is valuable, regardless of the result. Think about athletes, artists, or anyone who practices a skill regularly. They spend hours honing their craft, often with no guarantee of success or recognition. If their happiness depended solely on winning competitions or gaining external approval, they would constantly feel stressed or disappointed. But those who find joy in the practice itself, whether it's perfecting a technique, pushing their limits, or simply enjoying the act of creation, are more likely to experience lasting satisfaction. Stoicism teaches that the journey is where we grow, where we learn, and where we find true fulfillment, not in the external rewards or recognition that may come later. This idea is also helpful when we face setbacks or failures. If we're too focused on the outcome, a setback can feel like the end of the world. We might feel like we've wasted our time or that our efforts were for nothing. But when we focus on the journey, we see setbacks as part of the process, as opportunities for learning and growth. Epictetus advised that we should view obstacles as chances to develop resilience and wisdom. By embracing the challenges we encounter along the way, we become stronger and more confident, knowing that the journey itself is what shapes us, not the final result. Enjoying the journey also means being patient with ourselves. Many of us set ambitious goals and then become frustrated when progress is slow or when we encounter difficulties. But the Stoics remind us that everything in life takes time and true growth happens gradually. Marcus Aurelius wrote, No matter how long you train a bird to sing, you will never teach it to sing the way you do. Each has its own nature, its own way. This teaches us that we each have our own path and it's important to honor that path without rushing the process. When we embrace the journey, we learn to be patient with ourselves and trust that progress will come with time and effort. In conclusion, enjoying the journey, not just the outcome, is a core stoic lesson that helps us live with greater peace, contentment and resilience. By shifting our focus from the end result to the process itself, we free ourselves from the pressure of success and failure. We learn to appreciate the small victories, the lessons we gain from setbacks, and the growth that happens along the way. The Stoics teach us that life is not about reaching a destination. It's about embracing the journey with curiosity, gratitude, and a sense of purpose. 8. Find joy in the simplest things. One of the most beautiful lessons from Stoic philosophy is learning to find joy in the simplest things. In a world where people often equate happiness with wealth, success or grand achievements, Stoicism teaches us that true contentment comes from appreciating the small, everyday moments. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, believed that living simply and valuing what is already present in our lives is the key to lasting happiness. He wrote, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This profound quote reminds us that joy and fulfillment are not found in constant striving for more, but in recognizing the abundance in what we already have. The Stoics emphasized that external circumstances, whether it's wealth, possessions or status, do not determine our happiness. Instead, they taught that happiness is an internal state, cultivated by our mindset and our ability to find joy in the present moment. When we shift our focus away from what we lack or what we want and instead appreciate the simple things in life, we discover that there is beauty and joy all around us. Think about the small everyday moments that bring you peace or happiness. A warm cup of coffee in the morning, 
the sound of rain, a kind smile from a stranger, or the feeling of the sun on your face. These moments are often overlooked because they seem so ordinary. However, it's in these simple moments that we can find true contentment if we're present enough to notice them. Marcus Aurelius advised, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. This stoic wisdom encourages us to focus on the thoughts that bring us peace and joy, rather than being consumed by desires for more or better. In today's fast-paced, consumer-driven world, we're constantly bombarded with messages that tell us we need more, more money, more success, more possessions, in order to be happy. But the Stoics teach us that this endless pursuit of more leads to dissatisfaction because it takes our attention away from the present moment and the simple pleasures that are already available to us. Epictetus said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This stoic principle reminds us that by reducing our desires and finding contentment in the simple things, we can experience a deeper, more lasting sense of joy. Consider a practical example. Imagine you're walking through a park on a sunny afternoon. You could spend the time worrying about your to-do list, checking your phone, or thinking about what you don't have. Or you could take a moment to pause, breathe deeply, and simply appreciate the beauty around you, the trees, the birds, the fresh air. By focusing on these simple, peaceful moments, you shift your mindset from one of stress or lack to one of gratitude and joy. The Stoics believed that this ability to appreciate the present is a crucial part of living a fulfilled life. Finding joy in the simplest things also means learning to live with gratitude. The Stoics taught that gratitude is a powerful antidote to dissatisfaction and unhappiness. By regularly reflecting on what we're grateful for, we remind ourselves of the abundance already present in our lives. Seneca wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This advice encourages us to let go of the constant desire for more and to focus on the joy that can be found in the here and now. Gratitude can be practiced in many ways. Some people find it helpful to keep a gratitude journal where they write down a few things each day that they're thankful for. Others make a habit of pausing throughout the day to acknowledge the small blessings they might otherwise overlook. Whether it's the comfort of a warm bed, the company of a good friend, or the satisfaction of a job well done, these moments of gratitude help us stay grounded in the present and appreciate the simplicity of life. Stoicism also teaches that finding joy in the simplest things is about embracing a life of moderation and simplicity. The Stoics didn't believe in the pursuit of luxury or excess. Instead, they valued a life of balance, where material possessions and external successes were seen as secondary to inner peace and virtue. Epictetus advised, He who is not satisfied with a little is satisfied with nothing. This teaching encourages us to simplify our lives and reduce our attachment to material things so we can focus on what truly matters, our relationships, our health, and our personal growth. Imagine simplifying your life by decluttering your home or reducing unnecessary expenses. This doesn't mean living in deprivation, but rather shifting your focus away from accumulating more things and toward appreciating what you already have. The Stoics believed that when we free ourselves from the constant desire for more, we create space for greater peace and contentment. By simplifying our lives, we reduce stress, eliminate distractions and make room for the things that bring us true joy.
Another aspect of finding joy in the simplest things is learning to be present with the people we care about. In our busy lives, it's easy to take our relationships for granted or to be distracted when we're spending time with loved ones. But the Stoics remind us that these moments of connection are among the most meaningful experiences in life. Marcus Aurelius encouraged us to be fully present in our interactions with others, saying, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. By appreciating the time we have with the people we care about, we find joy in the simple act of being together. Whether it's sharing a meal, having a conversation, or just sitting in silence. In conclusion, finding joy in the simplest things is a powerful stoic lesson that helps us live with greater peace, contentment, and gratitude. By shifting our focus away from the constant pursuit of more and learning to appreciate the small moments in life, we discover that happiness is not found in external achievements or possessions, but in the present moment. The Stoics teach us that by living simply, practicing gratitude and being fully present, we can experience a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment in our everyday lives. 9. The Art of Gratitude Gratitude is one of the most powerful practices for cultivating happiness, peace and resilience, and it holds a central place in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that by regularly reflecting on what we're grateful for, we can shift our focus from what we lack to the abundance already present in our lives. Seneca wrote, Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. This simple truth reminds us that gratitude is not just about saying thank you, but about living with a mindset that appreciates life's gifts, both big and small. In modern life, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of more, more success, more possessions, more recognition. But the Stoics teach us that true happiness comes not from acquiring more, but from appreciating what we already have. By practicing gratitude, we ground ourselves in the present and experience a deeper sense of contentment, regardless of external circumstances. Epictetus encouraged his students to reflect on their blessings daily, saying, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This stoic wisdom helps us focus on the good in our lives, even when we face challenges or setbacks. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring difficulties or pretending everything is perfect. Instead, it's about acknowledging the positive aspects of life, even in the midst of hardship. When we develop the habit of gratitude, we train our minds to see the blessings that exist alongside the challenges. For example, if you're going through a difficult time at work or in a relationship, practicing gratitude might involve focusing on the lessons you're learning, the support of loved ones, or even the strength you've developed through adversity. This shift in perspective helps build resilience and prevents us from becoming overwhelmed by negative emotions. Let's take a practical example. Imagine you've been passed over for a promotion at work, a situation that can naturally lead to frustration or disappointment. While it's important to acknowledge those feelings, Stoicism teaches that practicing gratitude can help shift your mindset. Instead of dwelling on the promotion you didn't get, you might focus on the opportunities you still have, the relationships you've built at work, the skills you've gained, or the fact that you have a job that supports you. This doesn't mean denying your disappointment, but rather balancing it with gratitude for what is still going well in your life. This practice can significantly reduce stress and frustration and help you maintain a positive outlook. Marcus Aurelius also emphasized the importance of gratitude, particularly when facing the challenges of daily life. 
He wrote in his meditations, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This quote encourages us to begin each day with a sense of gratitude, recognizing that life itself is a gift. By starting the day with this mindset, we set a positive tone that can carry us through even the toughest moments. One of the simplest ways to cultivate gratitude is by keeping a gratitude journal. At the end of each day, take a few moments to write down three things you're grateful for. These can be big or small. Perhaps you're grateful for a kind word from a friend, a moment of peace, or even just the fact that you made it through a challenging day. Over time, this practice helps train your mind to focus on the positive aspects of life, which fosters a sense of contentment and reduces the tendency to dwell on what's lacking. Gratitude also plays a vital role in our relationships. It's easy to take the people in our lives for granted, especially those we see regularly. But by practicing gratitude, we learn to appreciate the small acts of kindness, support and love that our friends, family and colleagues offer us each day. Seneca advised that we should always express gratitude toward others, not only to strengthen our relationships, but also because it enriches our own sense of well-being. When we take time to thank the people in our lives, we not only make them feel appreciated, but we also reinforce our connection to them and deepen our relationships. For example, think about a friend who regularly checks in on you or a colleague who helps you out when you're busy. While these acts might seem routine, expressing gratitude for them can have a profound impact on your relationship. A simple thank you or acknowledgement of their support can strengthen your bond and make them feel valued. This practice of gratitude not only improves your relationships, but also enhances your own sense of fulfillment because you're more aware of the positive connections in your life. Another important aspect of gratitude is learning to appreciate life's simple pleasures. The Stoics believed that happiness is found in simplicity, not in luxury or excess. Epictetus taught that we should focus on the essentials, good health, nourishing food, meaningful work, and loving relationships, and find joy in these basic aspects of life. By appreciating the simple things, we cultivate a mindset of abundance, even if our circumstances are modest. For instance, the warmth of the sun on your face, a cup of tea in the morning, or the sound of laughter with friends are all moments to savor. When we practice gratitude for these everyday pleasures, we realize that joy doesn't depend on grand achievements or material wealth. Gratitude also teaches us to be content with what we have. In a society that constantly pushes us to want more, more money, more possessions, more success, the Stoics remind us that contentment comes from within. Seneca said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. This teaching encourages us to be satisfied with what we have, rather than constantly seeking more. By practicing gratitude, we learn to appreciate the abundance already present in our lives and free ourselves from the endless pursuit of more. In conclusion, the art of gratitude is a fundamental stoic practice that brings greater peace, contentment and resilience. By focusing on the good in our lives, whether it's our health, our relationships or life's simple pleasures, we shift our mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. The Stoics teach us that gratitude helps us weather life's challenges with grace and joy, and that by appreciating what we have, we can live with greater fulfillment and inner peace. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the act of reflecting on our blessings each day helps us live more fully in the present with a grateful heart. 10. Appreciate Solitude 
In a world that's constantly connected, where we are bombarded by notifications, social media updates and endless streams of information, solitude can seem like a rare commodity. But Stoic philosophy teaches us that solitude is not only important, it's essential for personal growth and emotional well-being. Marcus Aurelius himself found great value in solitude, writing in his meditations, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This quote captures the Stoic belief that true peace and clarity come from within and that solitude allows us to reconnect with ourselves on a deeper level. Solitude doesn't necessarily mean being physically alone. It's about creating space for quiet reflection away from the noise and distractions of daily life. The Stoics believed that solitude was a time for introspection, self-improvement and cultivating inner peace. In solitude, we can assess our thoughts, examine our actions and reconnect with our values. This practice helps us build emotional resilience and clarity, allowing us to face the challenges of life with a calm and centered mindset. In today's fast-paced world, many people avoid solitude because it feels uncomfortable. We're so used to being constantly stimulated by our phones, by conversations, by work, that the idea of being alone with our thoughts can be unsettling. But Stoicism teaches that solitude is a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. Seneca wrote, Nothing, to my way of thinking, is a better proof of a well-ordered mind than a man's ability to stop just where he is and pass some time in his own company. This quote reminds us that being comfortable with solitude is a sign of mental strength and inner peace. Consider a common scenario. You've had a long, stressful day at work, and all you want to do is unwind. Many people turn to distractions, watching TV, scrolling through social media or going out with friends to escape the stress. While these activities can be enjoyable, they often prevent us from truly processing the events of the day or addressing the emotions we're feeling. By taking a few moments of solitude, however, we can reflect on what happened, assess how we handled the day's challenges and learn from the experience. This practice not only helps reduce stress, but also strengthens our ability to navigate similar situations in the future with greater clarity and calm. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the importance of retreating into oneself for peace and wisdom. He believed that by spending time in quiet reflection, we can better understand our thoughts and emotions, which allows us to respond to life's challenges with more wisdom and composure. He wrote, People seek retreats for themselves in the country, by the sea, in the mountains. But it is in one's own soul that a man finds the most peaceful and trouble-free retreat. This Stoic principle teaches that we don't need to escape to far-off places to find peace. Instead, we can cultivate inner tranquility by regularly retreating into our own minds through moments of solitude. One of the greatest benefits of solitude is that it allows us to develop a stronger sense of self-awareness. In the busyness of daily life, it's easy to get caught up in external demands, social expectations or the opinions of others. We often make decisions based on what we think we should do rather than what aligns with our values and goals. But in solitude, we have the opportunity to reflect on who we are and what we truly want. This deeper self-awareness helps us make more intentional decisions, live in alignment with our values, and build confidence in our own path. For example, imagine you're at a crossroads in your career. You're unsure whether to stay in your current job or pursue a new opportunity, and you've been asking friends and colleagues for advice. While their input can be helpful, it can also cloud your own judgment. 
By spending time in solitude, you can reflect on what's truly important to you, whether it's growth, stability, or work-life balance, and make a decision that aligns with your own values. This time alone allows you to filter out the noise of other people's opinions and reconnect with your inner wisdom. Solitude is also a powerful tool for emotional regulation. When we're constantly surrounded by noise and activity, it's easy to become overwhelmed by our emotions. Whether it's frustration, anxiety or sadness, our emotions can quickly spiral if we don't take the time to process them. The Stoics believed that solitude offers the space needed to observe our emotions without being controlled by them. Epictetus taught that we should regularly examine our thoughts and feelings in solitude, asking ourselves, are these emotions serving me or are they clouding my judgment? This practice helps us gain control over our emotions so we can respond to life's challenges with calm and clarity. Let's consider a situation where solitude can be particularly helpful, dealing with conflict. Imagine you've had an argument with a close friend or family member. Your emotions are running high and you're tempted to react impulsively, whether it's by sending a heated text or saying something hurtful. In this moment, taking a step back and spending time in solitude can make all the difference. By giving yourself space to reflect on the situation, you can process your emotions, consider the other person's perspective, and decide how to respond in a way that aligns with your values. This pause not only prevents unnecessary conflict, but also helps strengthen the relationship. The Stoics also saw solitude as an opportunity to practice gratitude and reflection. In moments of quiet, we can reflect on what we're grateful for, which helps us cultivate a sense of contentment and peace. Seneca advised that we should regularly take time to reflect on our blessings, saying, A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. This practice of gratitude in solitude helps us focus on the abundance already present in our lives, rather than constantly seeking more. In today's world, where constant connectivity is often seen as a necessity, solitude is more important than ever. It's in solitude that we can disconnect from the noise, reflect on our lives, and gain the clarity needed to make meaningful decisions. Whether it's a few moments of quiet in the morning, a walk in nature, or simply sitting in stillness, solitude offers a space for growth, reflection, and inner peace. In conclusion, appreciating solitude is a vital stoic lesson for cultivating inner strength, clarity, and emotional resilience. The stoics teach us that solitude is not about isolation, but about creating space for self-reflection, growth, and peace. By regularly retreating into moments of quiet, we can reconnect with our values, process our emotions, and gain the wisdom needed to navigate life's challenges with greater confidence and calm. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the greatest retreat we can find is within our own souls, where true peace resides. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope today's episode helped you see that living a good life doesn't mean forcing things to happen. It's about accepting the natural flow learning to appreciate the journey, and finding peace in the present moment. The Stoics remind us that we can't control everything, but we can control how we respond. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with those who might benefit from these lessons. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Let's continue growing together, and building a community of calm, resilient, and wise individuals. Until next time, stay grounded, stay present, and keep embracing the stoic way of life. See you soon.